A line of textured paving on the footpath. Do you know what it means? This is Ken. He's making a round-the-world trip, and he's seen this kind of paving in many countries, especially on sidewalks and train station platforms. Ken's country doesn't have it, and he started wondering what it means. Designed to help visually impaired pedestrians get around, the paving is made of tactile tiles. There are two types. One is a directional guide. The other warns of possible danger nearby. The tiles are easily identified with a cane or by how they feel under your feet. Such a simple idea with such powerful benefits. Ken is impressed. Who invented these tiles? It all started in Japan. Seichi Miyake, a hotel owner in Okayama City, had a close friend who was visually impaired. He developed these tiles to keep his friend safe on the streets. In 1967, Miyake installed the world's first tactile tiles along a busy road near the Okayama School for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Miyake then donated his own funds to help other communities around Japan install the tiles. The government recognized the value of his invention and from 1973 began installing the blocks nationwide. And in 2001, they received Japanese Industrial Standards certification. Ken is amazed at how one man achieved so much good. But our story doesn't end there. Miyake was inspired by Braille, which is called Tenji in Japanese. But Braille is difficult to learn, and each language has its own version. Miyake's tiles, on the other hand, are a universal design that anyone can quickly understand. Worldwide, there are around 300 million visually impaired people. No wonder other countries quickly adopted this highly effective Japanese invention. Ken remembers seeing these tiles as he traveled through countries as varied as China, South Korea, Australia, and the USA. Remember never to obstruct the tiles by standing on them or leaving obstacles there. And if you ever see a visually impaired person headed toward danger, be sure to call out and warn them. A system of simple symbols and standardized rules that's improved accessibility for people with visual disabilities worldwide. Ken decides he will become an inventor like Miyake after he gets home from his trip. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel, Design Hysterics. Get more updated videos from now. Click on the bell button below to get notified. See you people in the next video. Till then, it's a bye from Design Hysterics team.